Hey, Carl. Um, yeah, pretty resolute performance from you guys. Just probably that numerical advantage counted in the end. Yeah, I, I suppose it did. Um, you know, we up until that point, they uh, the only threat they had was you know long balls over the top. Um, we had fairly much control, um, but you know that's football, isn't it? Yeah. Mate, what was your view of the, the send off? It looked initially like it was just a just a clip, and then then the ref went over and viewed part. What was your view of it? Um, yeah, look more. Um, we seem to be always, at the moment, uh, on the wrong side of a lot of VAR calls this year. I reckon that's n maybe number eight or nine. Um, you know, the referee, you know, he saw it as a yellow, and then VAR obviously thought it was a clear and obvious mistake and called him over. You know, we had a similar situation last, you know, two weeks ago where the closest player was 35 metres away, but. Um, it never got looked at, and it just seems to be a story this year with VAR and us. We just just can't get on the right side of it. I reckon that's eight or nine occasions now. Hey, did you, even, even despite that, you must have been pretty pretty satisfied with, with what Stephen was able to do. Obviously, they got you at the end with, with three, but that probably is not reflective of, of how well he played. Yeah, Stephen is a great young kid, you know, to come on, you know, um, in those situations, it's always difficult. Um, yeah, he, and he, he did well, made some good saves. Um, so, yeah, he, um, he, he did well for a young kid. It looked, it looked from, from where I was that you guys, when you, when you went a man down, you went really narrow. Was, were you happy with how they were able to keep them at bay in that sense? Yeah, look, um, we knew, um, you know, defending narrow, they'd, you know, um, try to... Play balls in uh, in behind us a little bit. That's you know seemed to be the story all night. Um, and if we stayed narrow, they weren't going to hurt us. And you know, um, you know the first goal was you know just a little bit disappointing the way we defended the first ball. But um, you know the boys fought hard. It was always going to be difficult in these conditions to keep it um, them scoreless for you know such a long period. Thanks, mate. I'll pass on. Safe travels home. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, hey Carl. Um, obviously, the league is quite close at the moment. Is it starting to become a bit uh, worrying? Um, obviously, you guys haven't been able to collect a couple of points um, throughout the last few games. So, is it becoming quite worrying? You guys may uh, continue to drop down the ladder. No, look, uh, we just concentrate on ourselves. Um, you know, we've got um, I think six or seven games left. I can't, I'm not too sure, and five of them are at home. Um, so, you know, we know we. Um, at home, we're a very strong side. You know, we have great support at home, and we know, you know, if we've got those five games at home. If we, you know, pick those wins up, then you know, we'll we'll be fine. Yeah, and um, just finally from me, um, Craig Goodwin back in the side today from um, from COVID. Was it a tough decision to um, to keep him on the bench? Obviously, he was quite. Um, he was featured a lot on the ball tonight. So yeah, was it quite hard to um, put him on the bench tonight? Yeah, look, um, Craig has been in isolation all week and he didn't get into Sydney till one o'clock this afternoon. So it was, you know, a lot to ask for him to, you know, to come and then play 90 minutes in these conditions. So, um, you know, we're looking after, you know, after the player. Yeah, beautiful. That's all from me. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Thanks, sir.